Security and Exchange Commission in the US, which is Wall Street's main regulator, has filed 13 different charges against the company and its billionaire creator. It's a whopping 136-page complaint against Finance US, which is the US arm of the company. And in this complaint, it's accused of doing everything. For example, artificially inflating its trading volumes. So it says, for example, that another of Seagate's companies, which is a Swiss-based company, allegedly did something called wash trading, where it makes it seem like more tokens are trading hands on Binance US than actually were. It's also accused of breaking the law by failing to stop US customers from using its global platform, um, as well as misleading investors about exactly what sort of levels of market surveillance controls it had. Um, it's also accused of allegedly misusing customer funds, so basically taking taking some of the money that was meant for Binance um, into some of other C uh, CZ's com companies, um, and of course CZ being one of crypto's most high-profile figures. So similar accusations in that sense to what we saw levelled at FTX earlier this year. But in response, the company has said that it was disappointed by the decision to file charges. It says that they're misguided and added that it was going to defend its business. Um, also not the only legal challenge it's facing, but it faces complaints from other regulators in the US, including, for example, the Department of Justice. And if you so briefly can, Katie, what is the future for crypto? It's a great question. I mean, Bitcoin, for example, fell about 5% on this news, still up about 50% since the start of this year. It's hugely volatile. We saw huge um, numbers of you know, Bitcoin back in 2021 when it was made one of the legal currencies in El Salvador. It was valued about $80,000, sliding, sliding now back to about 30000 again. So hugely volatile. Um, it's going to be a wait and see as we see the US regulators continue to crack down on it. All right, Katie Silva, thank you. And Katie will be back for more later on in the program. This is news there on the BBC World Service. Now, the technology giant Apple has launched its first major piece of hardware for almost a decade. It is a much-anticipated augmented reality headset, which, the company says, seamlessly blends the real world and the virtual world. It's expected to...